to make sure tonight can happen safely and in accordance with all the rules. We are all set for two global stars taking on world records that have stood for more than a decade. Latessa Betgide, third from the right-hand side. What an athlete. Silver medalist in the 10,000 meters last year. Bronze in the world cross country, but Twist Chip Coetch, yes, the Beatrice Chip Coetch, who just happens to be the you can tune in if you've got access to a phone or a tablet. Third from the left hand side, getting herself poised and ready for this assault. Comparable to that which we saw from the London Marathon on Sunday. Here we go then. Does history beckon for the Tessa Bendide? We will be watching the clock. There is a reason that record of tourist to Barbers has stood for 12 years. She's one of the all-time greats. And speaking of all-time greats, I'm delighted to be sitting alongside Sonia O'Sullivan, who won the inaugural world title over 5,000 metres and reminded me is still the outdoor 2000. She's OK at the moment. But we need to keep a very close eye when we get onto the middle section of the race where she knows she has to pick it up to 68s and then up to 67s. Guerrero has done a good job there, so it now comes down to Beatrice Chip Coetch. We mentioned at the start, I mean, when I first saw her name, Sonia, I thought she was going to have this race her way and to attack the race in the way that she wants to do it. It's not easy when you're out there running by yourself, um, but now here she looks like she actually wants to go past Beatrice Kipkoch. Maybe she's slowing a little bit here, but we'll be coming up soon now to the 3,000 meter mark, which is a key um, time here. And she is well on pace here. I mean, this is going through the line there in 8.31.85, which is well and truly under the 8.32 that she has in her mind. And the thing is, this is with athletes, endurance athletes. They do the training, but you have numbers in your head that, you know, when you hit those targets, it gives you that extra bit of confidence going into the last few laps. And uh, you know, there's five laps to go here now. Next time around, we'll be have a mile to go. Body wearing a mask. They're very hot on that here in Spain. There's the embrace for Beatrice Chipkowicz. And in a year that's been so, so hard for so many people, what a moment of inspiration from a 22-year-old who has just run the race of her life. Wow! That is just something else I mean it just looks so easy I mean how she did that and you know maintain such focus and relaxation throughout I mean it's just unbelievable that she was able to maintain that throughout and by herself over those last five laps it was absolutely amazing she just got quicker and quicker and you know for us to be watching the wave lines she was just running further and further away it was just the perfect you know start to the night right all our focus was on Joshua Cheptegei, especially the manner in which he took the 5,000 metre world record mid-August. We knew Gide had a chance, but that was such a tough mark to try and come here and tame. At the end of, you know, such a disrupted season for everybody, you know, all these big training groups have been forced to work alone, but she, she's done it. We were apparently going to try and grab an interview with her, but we've got the men coming out for the 10,000 meters. So we might try and get hold of Latessa Betkide towards the end of our coverage. Stay with us. We promised you an assault on two world records. What is 100% <laughs> so far. Day embarks on her lap of honor. We now start thinking about the men's 10,000 meters where the reigning world champion at the World Championship, she promised us she could run 250 after 250 after 250. She delivered, and we finally got a word with her after the race.